This is the driving motor, small one. The other one is big, six kilowatt. And on the bottom is two more. So this little motor is gonna run by three. This is the four flywheel. You can see if I take my hand, just to move it slowly, they are gonna spin. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn on the power for that little motor. By holding this, it will turn it on. But I gotta turn it on first. Okay, now it's on. Now, watch. I'm gonna hold it for three seconds. Now I gotta let it go. So it, even though I let it go, it's still running from, because of the momentum. You see? Then I can leave it there. And if you want to make it go faster, just pause in it. I mean, you put more. And then I can let it go right away. So the motor doesn't take a lot of power to run the whole system. As you can see, it can turn. In theory, I can put a hundred of this motor. And that little motor can turn to a hundred generator, no problem at all. You see, it's still running. I'm not even touching it. See, and then you need more, you just have to push two more seconds. So you speed it up, you can see it. So you without even push anything. See? Because of the momentum. Now I'm, I can push it again. Three more seconds. You see how fast it is? And it's shaking a lot. I have to let it go. Because this, the whole frame is not support for the power flow. I don't want things to fly or not. Even though I already are. And it's still running. Yeah, because the whole trailer is very weak. So I can't do it fast. But I can pull this thing 3,000 RPM. But we have to build a, a rigid frame to handle this. And it has to be the flywheel because this thing, we, I do it by hand, so it's not very accuracy. But it proves you the concept. It works from even a small motor. I can pull a three big generator.